Okay, how's it going YouTubers? Today we have a unboxing slash something a review of the Pittsburgh aka Harbor Freight fuel injection pump tester and how it's going to hopefully help on my 97 Jeep ZJ with the 4.0 to figure out a problem that's been vexing me for a long time. So this is the kit. Uh, I think after my coupon and with a free flashlight, I ended up paying like 18 bucks, something like that for it. I've been told that these are fairly universal, but the directions, as with most of the said products made in China, are not exactly all that comprehensive uh, for the brands of vehicles that it lists for what you should have for pressure. I get Cadillac, Imperial, whatever that is, and Lincoln and Versailles. And that's it. So nothing about any Mopar vehicles, which the Jeep is. So what it uh, comes with is get the gauge, get a bunch of hoses, nipples, adapters, screws, a couple of hose clamps, not a whole lot to it, but hopefully it is going to be what I need. So I'm going to uh, try and figure out which parts I need to uh, check the pressure on my Jeep. And we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so apparently all I'm going to need for this is... Uh, there's one of the hoses that goes... One side goes onto the valve. And the other side goes right onto this Schrader valve type connection here on the side of the fuel rail that you can expose that just taking the cap off just like a valve stem cap and a tire and be able to screw that right on there and hopefully that should show us what we're doing for fuel pressure on this guy all right let's check it out oh uh, another thing when you're installing this hose onto the gauge uh, the directions as difficult to read as they are uh, recommend that you put some PTFE tape on there because don't want it to leak obviously and of course none is supplied with the kit so get some Teflon tape if you're buying this kit okay so I've got this guy hooked onto the test port on the fuel rail I got it uh, jockeyed there so that I can see it underneath the hood uh, from the driver's seat and I turn the key to the beyond position and the fuel pump fires up see what happens right now it's at zero there was a little leakage when i put it on there so it wasn't completely completely devoid of pressure but it was just a tiny tiny little bit which that shouldn't be the anti-leak down valve in the pump itself should keep that from depressurizing i've been told so uh that's that's an indicator right off the bat that this fuel pump is not good which is not a surprise considering in this jeep i've put about four or five of them in so far and uh yeah that'll be another video so let's go ahead and crank up the pump and see what we get Okay, so it took four or five cycles on that pump to get it to pump up. It did, did eventually pump up to about 50, but then it immediately leaked right back down. So that is an indication that we've got issues with the pump already. Not a big surprise. So, all right, now let's start the engine and see what we get with that. Okay, we've got it running now. Not sure if you can see this in the vid, but it's holding steady at about a good uh, 47 pounds, somewhere in there. Which I have not looked it up, but I'm guessing that's probably an okay pressure for this guy. Now the problem I'm having is not until I've got the engine under load like hill climbing in second gear. So what I'm going to have to do is try and figure out a way where I can have this rig, I don't think it will make it, 
Nah, it's not going to make it out from under the hood. i got to figure out how I can get an extension hose or something so that I can have the gauge on the outside of the windshield and see what's going on when I'm driving. But regardless, uh, this is the gauge. It seems to work okay. I'm not disappointed with this piece of gear from Harbor Freight at all so far. Uh, some things are disappointing right out of the box, some things are not. Usually if they work right out of the box, they're going to be okay. And okay, so I'm going to show you how fast this guy leaks down once, uh, once I shut the engine off here. Hopefully you'll be able to see this on the camera. I don't know, the contrast with the sun might be too much, but we're going to try it. Here, I think I've got this. I think I've got that in view. And here we go. And that guy leaks down to zero, or pretty close to it, within about five seconds. So I'm gonna take a pretty hearty guess that my fuel pump is a no good right now, so I'm probably going to end up changing that out as my next project. And since this one technically still works, I will keep it as a spare. Uh, there are a number of parts on this Jeep that seem to go with regularity, so I'm trying to work up to having spares for all of them, for uh, just in case. Okay, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see in there very well the focal length of this phone camera but uh, if you notice after use here I took this guy off the valve uh, two things I noticed one the, the valve presser pin thing in there is it's not in the center so I'm not sure how critical that is and I might need to bend that over a little bit second thing is the o-ring that is inside here that seals it up from the gas leakage after one use is pretty much completely destroyed so uh i'm gonna have to replace that hopefully it's just a matter of a cheap o-ring and replacing it with a better one will fix the problem but so after use here uh as with many things harbor freight it's basically pretty good but it requires a little bit of uh a little bit of modification and loving to make the thing a reliable piece of equipment. Once again, the Pittsburgh slash Harbor Freight fuel injection pump tester, item number 92699. And uh, happy mechanicing, everybody. Triple G out.